On September 19th, Cyberlink released a new version of PowerDirector version 17. I haven't purchased my copy yet, but I did go online to look at some of the features that we'll be unpacking in the weeks to come. So I'd like to highlight some of those and give you my first impression about what it seems like they've done. There are some totally new features in version 17 that we don't find in any other version. There's nested project editing, which should make larger projects easier to assemble. There's a video pre-cut, which is supposed to allow you to take some video and use it in your library over and over again. There's also some other things they call new features that to me seem like they're improvements because they're not totally new. There's a new version of screen capture. There's also a inbuilt audio editor. I think they've integrated wave editor in better into the program. There's a point of use video tutorial, which basically is an improved help system. There's motion tracking, which is now more frame by frame. And you'll also find a chroma key, which now can do multi samples on that same background color. Other things that I would call more improvements that they call new would be in the ultimate version. You get wedding and holiday pack nine, you get content pack premium version four now and bonus background music and sound. The ultimate also comes with ProDad Adorage version 10 and ProDad Vitacene 3LE. Other things that they call enhancements, which I think are, point to great improvements potentially, are keyframe opacity enhancements. They've tweaked the multicam designer. They've done some work on improving the video collage designer. They have worked on improving the PIP designer. And they have worked on making the theme designer updated. They also, in their promotion, say that in version 17, the mask designer is improved and the title designer as well. They also offer a version of paint designer, which is newer, and a s improvement in the subtitle room, as well as a an improvement in the 360 video stabilizer. The last enhancement that they have on their list is Dolby and DTS 5.1 import and export. As I overview what it seems like they're offering in the new version, it seems much more evolutionary than revolutionary, and that's not necessarily bad. But in the weeks to come, we'll look at the features. I'm going to close this overview with a uh, picture of some video off their website. Uh, focusing on the things that they want to highlight as new or improved in CyberLink PowerDirector version 17, which we'll explore together here in the weeks and months to come.